Thank you everyone for being here. Uh, my name is Lindsay Fransnick. I am a junior in visual communication design here. Uh, my name is Natalie Bach. I'm also a junior in visual communication design. I'm Melinda Bleeker and I'm in the master's program for human centered design and engineering. And we are headlining history. The road to the 1936 Olympics is told through the news. Um, when we began this project, we were really interested in looking at how people at the time were learning about this story and getting the information about the story. And we quickly learned that that was through a newspaper. And so that led us to these three touch points. Uh, the first one being a newsstand. So visitors here will collect a postcard explaining the exhibit and the overarching story. And the newsstand will be inspired by what a newsstand in the 1930s would look like. Uh, the next touch point would be light boxes that will be scattered throughout um, the floor here. And these visitors would be uh, invited to each light box by huge hanging translucent banners with the theme of each light box. And then our third touch point would be a large newspaper that would be between those two pillars over there. Um, this would be a way scaled up newspaper and visitors can experience the feeling of a 1930s newspaper. Uh, with the cool addition of video and version. So for our exhibit, here we have a quick mock-up showing the scale and positioning. And if you take a look at our floor plan, the first touch point that participants will interact with is the newsstand that sets the stage. And after that is a non-linear experience, so the participants can interact in any way they wish, from the light boxes to the newspaper, back and forth. They will create their own experience. All right, so for our first touch point, the newsstand, we really wanted it to represent the newsstands at the time, so we have a dark wood finish, newspapers and articles plastered all over it, and there will also be a vendor handing out postcards which will outline and exhibit the, uh, the exhibit. <laughs> and here's a mock-up of that postcard which participants can take home, send to a friend, hang on a wall, do whatever they please with. And I'll hand it off to Lindsay. So more about the banners, these banners will be hanging um, throughout the pillars here. And the idea of this is that we get really beautiful light through the shell house. And so with these translucent banners, we're hoping that it really creates this nice um, ambient light in here. And with the themes, uh, we really want to showcase George Pocock, Joe Rance, Al Oberkson, the 1936 Olympics, the UW rowing team, rowing in general, and the rivalry between Berkeley and Cal. And the hope is that maybe in the future, um, these light boxes can be moved around and added to, taken out, um, depending on the use case. And so this is an example of what these titles would look like on the uh, banners themselves. Okay, and then our uh, final touch, or second to final uh, touch point is the light boxes. Um, so here's kind of what those look like in our model that we created. And then each light box, um, like we mentioned, would be it would be explained um, what would be the contents by the banners. Um, so we created a little bit of an example of what Joe Rance's box might look like. Um, and so this would be a place where there could be more of a tactile experience um, for any of the audience members that came. Um, so we would include, example, for example, photo negatives, um, newspapers that directly related to that box, and medals and other artifacts. And then the final touch point is the large newspaper. And so this is kind of what that would look like. Um, it would be posted up on those pillars, as we mentioned, um, for people to come and look at. And then here's a little video of what um, this changing projection would kind of look like for viewers. Um, we really wanted to capture different headlines um, that pertain to different moments um, throughout the story and just show different footage um, and create a really immersive experience for our audience. And just to close off, um, we're really looking forward to seeing what the future holds for the ASU Dove Shell House. Um, and I think I speak for all of us when I say we had a really great experience this for our family project. Thank you.
large space. Um, so that was the hardest part for me. I think we, we all kind of um, divvied up the project a little bit, so we were each working on um, different things, but um, I know I worked on like the motion, and then Belinda worked on the newsstand. Um, so I think, I don't know, it, it wasn't too challenging, I think, working together, but it was a great experience for sure. Yeah. Um, the question was, did we have access to newspapers from that era? Um, we did have an interview session with um, Dan, Eric Cohn, and um, I'll let Lindsay talk about that a little bit more. Yeah, I also uh, reached out to the uh, Suzla Library Archives, and there are tons of resources to find 1936 newspapers from the Seattle PI and the Seattle Times. Thank you so much.